Welcome to the SJNY Libraries tutorial on peer-reviewed journals and articles. In this video, we will learn what peer review is and how to locate articles that have gone through this process. So your professor has told you to go and find some peer-reviewed articles in a periodical, but what exactly does that mean? A periodical is a publication that is issued at regular intervals. The interval might be daily, weekly, monthly, or quarterly. Types of periodicals include newspapers such as the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal, magazines such as National Geographic and Time, and academic journals such as Child Development and the Journal of Aging and Health. While newspapers and magazines may be useful for certain situations and assignments, this presentation is focused on peer-reviewed articles in academic journals. An academic journal, also known as a scholarly journal, is a periodical intended for scholars, academics, and researchers that contain articles written by experts in a specific academic discipline. Many academic journals, but not all, are peer-reviewed. A peer review is the process of having subject experts, sometimes referred to as referees, review the article to check for accuracy and to assess the validity of the research methods and procedures. If the subject experts approve its content, then the article can be published in the academic journal. While this review should be rigorous, hopefully it doesn't get as bad as the cartoon here that shows the author entering a path with the peer reviewers in line ready to attack. So how can you find a peer-reviewed article? Well, there are a few ways. The easiest way is to use the library databases. Most library databases and search tools include a peer-review checkbox option that will limit your search results to only display peer-reviewed articles. So using the library databases is your best choice. But what if you found the article somewhere else, like in Google Scholar? In this case, you can go to the journal's main web page and look for a clearly defined review process there. This is often found under the Author Submission Guidelines section. A word of caution, though, concerning certain journals. There are journals out there known as predatory journals, and they are not reputable and follow deceptive practices. Even though the website may say that the articles are peer-reviewed, the review process may be of poor quality or, in reality, non-existent. So beware of the wolf in sheep's clothing and be sure to scrutinize your sources. More information about predatory journals can be found in the description area below this video. You can also take a look at the characteristics of an article to evaluate it. Articles are written by a scholar or expert in the field. They usually have a narrow or specific subject focus. They contain original research, experimentation, or in-depth studies in the field. And they often follow a format that includes an abstract, a brief history of the topic, methods, results including data, discussion of the findings, and references. They typically contain an advanced vocabulary since it is assumed that the reader possesses a basic understanding of the field of study. And scholarly journals generally have a serious look, lacking the advertising, want ads, and glossy pages found in popular magazines. Note that even though book reviews and editorials are contained within scholarly journals, they are not considered scholarly articles. These are more opinion pieces. I hope that you found this tutorial useful. If you need more help or have any questions, please connect to us by following the links in the description section below. Thank you for your attention.